Darrow, Jeff, Jeff Darrow, Jeff Darrow, Jeff Darrow, Jeff okay. Darrow. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, they have a lot. They have a lot it? in common. It's right here it is. Here it is. I have this portfolio. This Hello. is the uh, fi- uh, City of Fire. Um, yeah, let, let's so zoom, let's zoom into like a little corner. Go ahead, go ahead and zoom into yeah, a little yeah, corner yeah. of that. Whoa. Yeah, this is this is that that, that insane. Wow, that's that insane. So that's Jeff where Darrow. Jeff Darrow. So there, that's where Jeff Darrow got it from. I mean, I know. No, he know went to Paris like, and worked with Mobius. Yeah, but Jeff Jarrett has a lot of scenes like that. I mean, that you know, that's that's like a, a kind of thing you sometimes see in this Japanese is a collaboration. Whether they wear yep, Waldo yep. kind of a style. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um. It, it, this is. This was like a. You know, when I got to college, my professors immediately saw that I wanted to become a comic book artist or at least a fantasy illustrator and somewhere along those lines. And they were okay with it. They just asked me very politely to lock all that stuff up in a trunk, put it in a basement or an attic or a closet and just learn to see, learn to draw, learn to paint, learn color, learn design, learn, learn, learn the basics, the basics, the basics. Then when you return to comics or fantasy illustration or what have you, you're going to be able to see things in a very specific light. And they were, they were absolutely right. They were absolutely right. The thing about this book is... Um, it always gave me the feeling that I did not have to abandon one for the other. In other words, I didn't have to abandon fantasy art or art making as it is with comic to comics and cartooning. 